Rodney Ardern, a day of testing for Alinghi Red Bull Racing after yesterday's launch. The boat went on the water, did some tow testing, you even tried some sails up. Was that a, a complete uh, list? Did you tick everything off today? Uh, pretty much. We could have done one more jib, but the day was dragging on and the guys were confident they got enough information about the sizing of the first two jibs. So, yeah, it wasn't quite the full list, but pretty much all of it. What were your personal thoughts about seeing the boat on foils for the first time? Oh, I think that was pretty exciting for everyone. No, it, um, it, uh, it looked spectacular. Of course, we the first takeoff was straight into the waves, so a little bit challenging, but managed to get it up and probably a harder ride on the chase boat than it was on the yacht. So they look pretty comfortable there. And um, yeah, the feedback so far is good. I was going to ask you the feedback from the sailors. They, they must be even more excited than you to, to, to get on the boat and get it foiling. Yeah, well, and I think everyone's looking forward to the next day when hopefully we can uh, actually sheet the sails on rather than just test them for size in the harbour. Any problems during that foiling session? We did see one stop where we thought we saw somebody doing a steering wheel motion. Was there an issue with the steering uh, a little bit? No, no issues with the steering. We just, the first stop was just to get the tech guys on board and just double check all of the systems after a short period and then did it again down the other end uh, before the tow back. So yeah, no real issues. Is that towing ticked off now for the team? Yeah, towing's done. So next next stage will be sailing. You tried um, some sails up today for size. Yep. Um, quite a long process, as you as we would imagine, with the first time up. We think it was a new main sail and maybe some legacy headsails. Are we right? It's pretty accurate. <laughs> okay. Um, it took a while to get the main kind of locked in, but it, what was the what was the feedback at the end of the day? Um, I think it all worked pretty well. Uh, slightly different technique. Uh, hooking up the main than we're used to, so a little bit of a new process for everyone to work out who exactly who does what. So uh, at the end of the day, the main went on well, and um, yeah, a little, little um, fiddling around with some strop lengths and bits and pieces, and then got into the jibs. The main sheet system we were obviously very interested in. It looks like it's new. We're, we're a new recon team to you, so we're not quite as familiar as what you've been using. Is it a totally new system? No, actually it's the same system we had on Boat Zero, so it's it's exactly the same if you, if so you look the, back at the photos. So tried, tried and tested is what you've gone with. Will you stay with yeah. that system, do you think? Yeah, the idea was to, you know, the systems we could develop and on that boat and use and test up to the loads, then we will do that. And uh, yeah, that's one of those pieces we'll, we'll stick with. So next stage is to sail the boat. Could that be tomorrow? Uh, forecast not ideal for tomorrow, so we'll probably push it later in the week. We're here in Barcelona with Paul Godison, Hellsman for American Magic Team. Paul, two boats sailing today, 14 to 18 knots from the south and again a Messi State. Can you please break down the day for us? Oh, it's a beautiful day out in Barcelona. You saw the sea breeze built from, from this morning. It got better and better and better. Fortunately, there's quite a lot of uh, objects in the water floating around, quite a lot of wood and, and logs today, which made our, our day a little bit of a, a stop-start day. We, we ran into a bunch of stuff, had to stop and check, and then again uh, had to run into some more stuff later on in the day, which, which inevitably called the, uh, called the day short. From yesterday, we noticed you swapped masts in between boats in reference to last week. What is the, the purpose? Oh, both masts have different pad positions. It just enables the boats to, to try different mainsails that have different batten layouts. So if you, you want a certain mainsail on a certain boat, then, then sometimes the, 
masts just have to, to switch around a little bit just to, to accommodate those mainsails. In fact, you're sailing now with a different mainsail, MC2 instead of MC5. Is that helping to validate the MC4 design? Yeah, a little bit. Obviously, we've done a, a lot of uh, sailing with four against five. We, we used two quite a quite a while ago. It was one of our earlier mainsails. So it's, it's just a, a check-in um, where both mainsails are and, and what the crossovers are when certain, uh, certain shapes are, are flying and, and sailing better than the others. So again, it's just doing a little bit of our due diligence, check where uh, we're doing the right things and we're in the right spot. Yeah, then by the end of the session, we could see some, someone from your team swimming, checking the rudder maybe. As you said in the beginning, a lot of stop and go. Maybe you were catching up something in the rudder. Oh, we, we, we hit something pretty hard in the rudder, and uh, you probably saw in the sailing we, we lost the rudder a couple of times after after that moment. So we, we send the diver in to have a check, make sure there's nothing broken. And it's, uh, obviously we'd hit something pretty hard, and, and the boat was a little bit uncontrollable. So we we decided to uh, to send the boats back home as it was okay. uh, just a safer option. Okay, but any par particular issue? That uh, we will see. Obviously, we'll the see. boats have, uh, have got to get pulled out and uh, have a good check of the rudder, and hopefully we've not done anything uh, too serious. Then you're fully focused on the pre-start training in this sailing block. What different kind of things were you trying to train inside the box today? Oh, there's a, there's a lot of uh, different things we're trying in the start. Obviously, whether you're leading or pushing and, and just what times uh, time to burns are achievable and what, what aren't achievable. I think uh, we're doing good work on creating some good patterns and some, some good defences and some good attacks to, to certain patterns. So it's been uh, really valuable the last, uh, last couple of weeks sailing for us.